welcome welcome guys thanks to all the old and new supporters now you guys know that you know this is the holiday season and a lot of people are taking the road usually around this time you got over like 50 million people taking the road you have people flying out people trying to get all over the country as well as all over the world to see their family and spend a special time of the year and so also people are considering well, hey what should i do with my pet some people leave them with uh, friends and families locally and then go on their trips others kind of fit them into the plans and so before i've done a video on how you can travel with your pet or your dog specifically how you can travel with your dog on american airlines i give that whole breakdown and the price etc but today's video will be about those dogs that are prohibited from being cargo and i'll talk about that when the video returns it's not a game, it's a red Hey guys, David Oreen. Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you can make it back. And um, as I said before, I made a video about, you know, how you can travel with your pet on American Airlines. A very popular video. Uh, obviously is near and dear to people's heart, their pet, their family member. And so I shared that information. So if, if you need, still need that information, go back and check that out. But today, here's what I, I what I want to do is in the description box, I'll leave a full list of all the dogs that you cannot travel by way of cargo with. And I'll explain some of that in a moment. But some dogs are like the Boston Terrier, all breeds of boxers, all breeds of bulldogs, pit bulls, shih tzus. Tibetan Spaniels, Japanese Chin, there's an English Toy Spaniel, a Cane Corso. I'll leave a full list of all the dogs that are prohibited to travel by way of cargo. With the airlines, they have to be very careful that your family member essentially is protected and because of the type of dog and their nose, etc., uh, it could affect their health. And so that's why these dogs are prohibited to be shipped under. Now, the rule is a little different. If your dog is small enough to fit in a carry-on that can fit on the seat, you could bring any breed of dog to go on the plane with you. The fee will be 125 each way. So you gotta think about if you're traveling with your dog, it's 250 round trip. That might be a good option, especially if you don't have people to come by and feed your dog or check up on your dog and uh, so that might be a good option just to pay the 250 for your dog to go round trip. But you gotta be sure that your dog is at least eight weeks old when traveling within the US and Puerto Rico. And they have to be at least 16 weeks when traveling into the United States. And if they're a service animal, none of these rules apply. In other words, if you have a service animal and they verify that all your paperwork is good, your dog, different sizes still can enter in the cabin with you and you'll hear some more information about that if you want to know more details once again go back to that video that i made about traveling with your dog in american airlines so i hope this was helpful hope it wasn't drawn out be sure to read the description where you'll see a full list of all the dogs that are prohibited to travel as cargo in other words under the plane with your luggage. Till next time, David Doreen, Mo Frontier. Over. See you.